Wow. I'd like to apologize for the messy state of my desk, but, um, it's nearly 3 a.m., and I just thought I'd make a quick little, uh, video on a cool thing I got in the mail, technically yesterday. Well, I got two cool things in the mail, but one of them is really just for music. I got a near-mint copy of Madara, which is awesome. Like, it even came with a pamphlet advertising MSX games, which is super cool. And, uh, there's a weird cable here, which is relevant because it goes to this, the other cool thing I got in the mail. The QDC, manufactured by a fine guy named Kitahei88. Uh, or Kitahei88, Hachihachi, or whatever he prefers. I'm not gonna say his real name, I don't know if he'd want that. But, uh, if any of you know about FDS Loader, it's that, um, DOS. It's, a, it's the DOS program, and I think it has a Windows version, like a uh, Windows 98 or a Windows XP version by Brad Taylor, the guy who reverse engineered everything to do with that, and it uses his reference documents, his technical documents up on Nesdev, uh, and takes that and makes it a hardware-based Windows application controlled uh, disk drive emulator that not only works for the Famicom but also uh, a sharp computer and the MSX because they use the same size disks in the MFM format. So it's USB controlled, you plug it in the first time and if you're lucky like I am, the FTDI drivers for this little thing install automatically so you don't have to fiddle with that. So I'm going to plug in my RAM adapter. It came with a custom cable that he was nice enough to make for me. Plug that in prop that up there and uh, plug in the USB if I can get it in there we go plug in the USB down here and there you go QDC version 1.01 .01, select mode so to do that I doubt you'll ever be able to see this there's the Famitracker IRC there's the QDC program there's a log and you can't see any of the buttons but right here where my cursor is, right underneath the file button, there's an initialization. There's init, and that initializes the QDC. Then it tells you to select the mode. Famicom or MZ MSX mode. Okay. So, my TV's, my little PVM is on, and it's not in PC mode. It's in Famicom. It's on the Famicom channel. So, just load that up. And uh, we get the standard BIOS, so it says to insert the disk card, but putting a disk card in the disk system won't do anything because it's not plugged in at all. So instead what you do, after converting the files, which takes zero time, you just click, you can't see it, but there's a button in the lower right corner that says data convert, uh, FDS to raw, and if there's a multi-side game you select split FDS, and it splits that into two FDS files for side A and B. Then you select FDS RAW. Select your FDS file, it converts it to a RAW format that's more like the data right on the disks that the RAM adapter can understand immediately. And uh, there you go. Once you're done with that, you click the emulation button, which is right next to the data convert button, and it enters emulation mode. So you load your disk, in this case, it's going to be uh, Gyrus. Why not Gyrus? And then you just click Set, and then you go. You're done, right there. Yep. And now it's loading, sending data, loading into the RAM adapter, and there you go. There's your game. Set side B. Yeah, you still have to do that. So you go in here, set the B side, Click change disk, and it switches. There you go. It still takes the same amount of time to load, so that doesn't make this doesn't make it any faster. It being USB, or, it doesn't change anything. It just makes it really convenient, and you don't have to fiddle with belts. And there you go. There's Gyrus. Yep. 
still got to deal with the loading. It, it doesn't that doesn't go away, and it, it's got to load again. Funny enough. Triangle times. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to press. Playing gyrus with one hand is a bad idea. I can hit you. Nah. Oh well. Anyway, that's that's enough of that. Turn it off. Disconnect. It closes the program and recognizes that there's no power at the RAM adapter anymore. Closes the program. Uh, and when you close it, you won't be able to read it here. Then, click close. Log says bye. Program exits. There you go. That's a little quick look at the QDC. Uh, you can also write disks using the FDS. Uh, you connect the original RAM adapter cable to this. And that connects to the disk drive. But in most cases, you're going to have to modify the power board and maybe modify the disk drive itself to support the writing. And I've already, I have the right drive, I just don't, I had to modify the power board. I'm waiting for a physical copy of Gyrus so that I can be sure that this reads game a game other than Double Dribble, because this doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work at all. Uh, it recognizes side B, but A side is just totally shot. And uh, once I can be sure that it's calibrated properly and reads other games, then I'll use it for disc writing and doing other cool things. So hopefully I could have some uh, Chris Carvel demos or Brad Taylor's uh, multicolor raster thing running on real hardware. On a real disc? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if I ever learned to program, I could put my own Famicom Disk System demo on a real disc. So uh, once that's set up, I'll show you how to write discs with this thing, because that's super cool.